Hey, I just wanted to go over how to do a cool vignette effect in Photoshop CC 2017. Now I'm going to start off this process creating a new document. Um, in my class, we're doing a typography project, our fun fonts poster, and our settings for that are going to be um, seven and a half inches wide by 10 inches high, and we'll set our resolution at 150. So when we create this document, we end up with just our standard page. Um, our background is locked, and in order to do the vignette effect, we want to do this on a layer that's not locked. So I could unlock my background, but for this purpose, I'm just going to make a new layer. I'm going to add my pattern background to this layer. Now the pattern um, hides underneath the gradient tool. You've got to get to your paint bucket to get to there. And then, of course, up here where it says foreground initially, you're going to change that to pattern. Now, when you click on the drop down for pattern, there'll be a gear. And there's a bunch of categories of patterns. So it really is kind of whatever you're into here. So erodible textures, for example, you can see those. If you want something with color, um, even if it's the wrong color, don't choose a black and white one. Those are a little harder to saturate with color without some creativity. It can be done, but it takes a little bit of creativity. Um, so let's say I choose color paper here, and uh, I'm going to choose this kind of brown thing. And then once you get your pattern selected, just click to put your pattern down. So this kind of looks like cardboard, sort of. Um, so I've got my pattern. Now your next step to get that vignette effect is to use the layer style, which is your FX button. And the one that we want is the gradient overlay. Now, the way a gradient overlay works is that when you click on it, you're going to have to modify what gradient you're using. And you're also going to have to modify the opacity. That's how see-through that gradient is. So yours is going to come up looking different than mine, but when you click on this little button here to select your gradient, you go into the gradient editor. And you can choose this first or second one. The second one is probably going to make more sense because we want a... We want a gradient that is a color to transparent. So one side of the gradient needs to be transparent in order to do a vignette effect because we don't want to put color over the entire top of our image. So uh, I suggest using the second option here, the one that is a color to a transparent side. Now, you know it's transparent because technically it's red on this side, but this top uh, gradient stop button says the opacity of that side is zero. So it really doesn't matter what color it is on the opposite side as long as this top box is set to zero. So on this left hand side, if I'm doing a gradient that kind of goes with mine, I'm going to want a black or brown, some sort of a dark color to kind of burn around the edges. So like, I kind of like the way that color looks there. So um, you choose your color that you want to use. And again, it can be darker if you want. Um, now, if you have a really dark background, you could go light and use a light vignette e either way. All right, so once you hit OK, it's not going to be the right kind of gradient because right now it starts at the bottom and then goes transparent at the top. Also totally not what we're looking for. So I'm going to hit OK here now that I've got my color selected and this is really what the gradient looks like. It's just over the top of my pattern and my pattern um, is behind this transparent area of the gradient at the top. So what you're going to do is switch your style from linear, which is bottom to top, to radial, which is middle out. Now this is opposite what I want. I want the dark color on the outside of this image so in order to do that, I'm going to reverse this. I guess technically we could have gone in here and made this side the transparent side and this side the solid side, but there's a nice little reverse button right here, so that takes care of that for us. So now that I've got that set, this is pretty much all you have to do, but to me this looks a little too strong for um, a nice light vignette. So there's a scale button. You're not going to want to scale it down because that's going to make it more like a spotlight. But you can scale it up so that it's not quite as prominent. You can also pull the opacity back. So that's going to make this vignette that's going around it see-through. So now if I pull this way back, you can't see it at all. Um, but I can pull it back a little bit and see there's just, it's a super nice effect here. It's darker around the edges but not black. And it gradually fades into uh, the lighter, the transparent color here in the middle. So you've kind of got different options here as to how you want this to look, but you're going to mess with scale and you're going to mess with opacity until you really get the look that you're, that you're desiring. All right, so once I hit OK here, now I have my background that I'm not even using, and then I have my pattern, and on my pattern is a gradient overlay that's going to create that vignette effect. And then, of course, I can start adding all the other elements for my poster. Hope this helps.